Hey guys, this is Mainak, your Civil Bro. So today we'll see how to do the time history analysis in ETABS. So we have already uh, seen in the uh, video previously that how to do the response spectrum analysis for the, so for the time history analysis also. Uh, we'll use that file. We'll first do response spectrum analysis uh, and then we'll do time history analysis. But since we already have done that, uh, you can watch that in the previous video. So we'll move forward and do the time history analysis right now. Okay. Uh, so first of all for the time history analysis you uh, it basically uses the earthquake data of already occurred earthquake and there is a website where you can download uh, these uh, data and data files of this earthquake and uh, see how your structure responds to those particular data there is nothing more than that and it's very simple so uh, simply we'll go to uh, functions and time history functions and uh, let's delete the two functions available and you'll just click all from file so we'll click on add new function so for now let's do th for the time history and we'll just take a file from you know our already uh, your etabs which uh, it has some files okay so we'll go to program files and computers and structures etabs and uh, then time history functions so there are some default fi uh, files of some common earthquakes which you find and if you want to uh, download recent earthquakes you can download from the website okay so l center is a very uh, popular earthquake you can take it from here and you can increase the characters per item and this if you're wondering what is this this the if you view the file uh, the file contains some headers you can ignore some headers if the file contains them so just view the file and if you want to ignore you can ignore uh, the number of line which contains headers other than earthquake data okay uh, so we are good with that and you can also change the number of points per line you can do one two three four as per your choice so I'll just click on OK and then uh, click on OK here and then uh, we'll go to define and we'll go to uh, load cases and uh, response spectrum we really don't need now but I'll just uh, add new case here and this we'll do TA uh, time history load okay THL let's do and this will be time history and uh, here we'll just go click on add and let's go by acceleration you can also go with load patterns uh, acceleration u1 in the acceleration and this is the centro and scale factor already you know the formula for the scale factor i into g by 2r i is one important factor g is 9810 in mm per second square and r is 5 so it will the answer will be 90 uh, 981 so 981 and uh, if you all if you also want to do in the y direction in this uh, thing only just go with acceleration and u2 this is the y direction and central 981 and damping ratio is 5 so click on ok so we are good with this click on ok now you go to define go to load combination you can just uh, delete all combos and add new combos like this add default combos just to see it click on ok so having done that uh, first of all we'll go and check the model whether everything is ok or not ok click on ok so model is ok now simply we'll go and set load cases to run so we'll select the load cases which you don't run first of all uh, uh, model just click on do not run and live click on do not run and for dead load also other dead we just click on not run but we'll take the self weight of the structure into consideration seismic load we should keep and response spectrum both direction and we will not run those okay so i'm taking only the uh, self weight and the seismic loads in x and y direction and the time history function in x and y direction and we'll click on run now so it will uh, program will analyze depending upon the speed of your system and after this you can see the results you can go to display and see your plot functions so we can see this is the plot function of the earthquake THL and you can see this is the base and this is the time so uh, you can uh, see the base uh, shear also and uh, there is also another thing you can go to display and click on combined response plot so this is really helpful and you can see the displacement in mm shear no worrying so everything you can find in this uh, for the time history function if you click on escape it will close and you can also display your story response plot and so story response plot 
and you can select uh, this maximum displacement you can see and maximum storage drift also uh, you can see for the analysis so like this you can do time history analysis and you can just download the data of an earthquake or use the by default data of an earthquake and see uh, the response uh, of that particular earthquake on your structure or design your building accordingly for that particular earthquake also this is very useful tool used in research and also you can for checking your design you can use this uh, if you have any doubts you can just uh, comment below thank you keep watching and if you watched this till now make sure to hit a like